Good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here, and it's time for some coffee with the scriptures. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for the privilege of being here, privilege of being able to share the word with you another day. And uh, we're going to get back into Psalm 119. Um, we are at verse 33 through 40. Um, and uh, so if uh, my deacon Moeen would put that um, up on the screen, um, and uh, we'll be reading from Psalm 119 and verses 33 through 40. And uh, we'll, of course, be in the King James Version. All right. Um, so, uh, um, Father, thank you for your word. I pray that you would bless this time with us. Um, uh, bless us, Father God. Give to us the understanding that we need and help us to apply it to our life. Uh, thank you for your presence. Um, always, always, always in the privilege of sitting at your table. Be glorified, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reading from, um, uh, this is uh, my uh, companion Bible. Um, so the print is really small. So uh, thank the Lord for Deacon Moeen and uh, what he does. Uh, this on-screen text is awesome. And so I hope it helps you uh, as we read through verses 33 through 40. And then we'll go back over it as we always do. Amen. In Jesus' name. So... Verses 33 through 40 reads this way. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Hallelujah. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Mm, hallelujah. This is an awesome psalm. I truly love this um, uh, psalm, and, and I'm thankful for God's Word, um, the way that it speaks to us. So let's go back and look at this um, one verse at a time, and you will see it says, Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Um, the Lord is our teacher. Jesus said so. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. You know, you need not that any man teach you, right? Now, well, was he then contradicting what Paul said? Um, did Paul contradict actually what Jesus said? No, um, not at all. Um, the Lord teaches us through his Spirit the foundational truths that we need to understand, and then we can then discern truth from error, right? Um, a bank teller doesn't understand a counterfeit bill uh, um, because they show them what a counterfeit bill looks like. No, they teach them how to recognize a counterfeit bill by showing them a real bill, They're telling them to study it, teaching them to study it, and understand all the little nuances within it so that when they see a counterfeit bill, it stands out like a sore thumb. Um, they recognize, Paul said that you will recognize false Christians um, by the way that they behave, by the things that they say and do. Um, you, you'll recognize them because you know the truth, right? Um, and so they're, they're easily recognizable. James 2, 9, 1 John 2.19, right, says that they went out from us, but they were not of us. Because if they had been of us, they would have no doubt continued with us. But they went out that it might be made manifest that they were not all of us that made manifest is simply that we can see it. You can recognize truth from error because you already know the truth. This is why I preach from an expository position. I expound upon the scriptures. I'll read the scriptures with you first and then go back over the scriptures and let the scriptures interpret the scriptures so that you can understand the truth so that when you're confronted with error, this will be the first thing that comes to your mind. Amen? So he says, uh, um, give me understanding. Now listen to the, the verbs. The, these are verbs. These are um, uh, 
directions for us to follow, right? But look at the source of empowerment. And this is what I want you to see. He says, teach me, O Lord. He says, give me understanding and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. But I, you have to give me understanding first. This is the Holy Spirit's job to help you understand the word that you're reading. He says, make me, right? Make me. What do you mean, make me? Yeah, well, that's what he promised he would do, right? Ezekiel 36, he promised he would make us, he would move us, he would motivate us to do all the words of this law. Um, make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Do you delight in the word of God, first and foremost? If you do, hallelujah, then you know the Holy Spirit is within you, and you're truly going to be moved to be obedient to the Lord. He says, incline my heart, my mind, obviously, my, incline my spirit unto thy testimonies and not to covetousness, right? Help me to focus, Lord, on your word, right? And help me to be um, drawn to your word. Uh, incline my heart, my spirit, my mind. This is the very essence of who we are. Incline us, move us, motivate us toward thy testimonies and not to covetousness. Verse 37 says, turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity. I'm trusting in you, Lord, to do all these things, um, to teach me, to give me, to make me, to incline my mind, my heart, my spirit, to turn away my eyes from beholding vanity and quicken thou me in thy way. So here in this verse, he twice, he gives you um, this direction. Turn away and quicken, make me alive, hallelujah. Then he says in verse 38, establish your word, thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts, quicken me in thy righteousness. So he says, establish in verse 38, right? your word unto your servant. He says, turn away my reproach. Again, turn away. All right. And then he says, behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me. This is another, you know, instructional verb. Quicken me in thy righteousness. So David's asking God for a whole lot here. Um, and, uh, you can see the sovereign direction of Almighty God in David's words here, because David asked God to teach him, to give to him, um, uh, to make him, to incline him, to turn him away um, from, uh, from vanity, from emptiness, to establish him, to turn him away, uh, turn away his reproach, and to um, quicken him in his righteousness. How, how much do we have to do with this and how much of it is the work of the Lord? Amen. Um, so I'm thankful um, and I need my cup, 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 cup. I need the cup. So I'm thankful for God's uh, grace and mercy. And I'm thankful for um, his the privilege of being able to, um, you know, do this on a daily basis. Um, the Lord is good and, uh, um, hallelujah. He's been good to us. So, um, let's thank him. Let's praise him. And, uh, uh, we'll give him all the glory for what we read, what we understand. And if you have questions, oh, put them in the comment section. Um, if you have questions about this, how much do we have to do? You know, um, how much do we have to do? Ask the Lord that question. Ask yourself that question in the presence of the Lord and uh, um, search the scriptures along those lines. And, and you'll see that it's a work of the Lord from front to back. Hallelujah. Um, God is in control. Let him be God. Surrender yourself to him. And if you haven't, when you surrender your life to Christ, I guarantee you this much. You did just that. Hallelujah. You did just that. Um, 
So give him praise, give him thanks for his grace and mercy and the way that he moves us and motivates us. And uh, we'll give him all the glory and honor because without him, we're nothing. Amen. So uh, listen, Jesus loves you. We love you. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope and pray that you'll come back again when we can share more coffee with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day in Jesus' name.